welcome one and all to the 42nd graduation service of the Far Eastern Bible College. Congregation, please stand.
Now all in unison. Ye sons and daughters within these halls have learned my word in Christ to me. With loyal heart, join in the prayer. I still love in all the day. O Lord, grant us thy truth and grace, and lead us on to break Now let us hear from the word of God. I will praise thee with my whole heart. Before the gods will I sing praise unto thee. I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. Let us pray. Almighty God, our gracious, our merciful, our loving Heavenly Father, the Most High God, we thank Thee, O Lord, for Thy keeping of the Far Eastern Bible College all these 55 years. And we thank Thee, O Lord, for Thy grace and Thy mercies in defending, protecting, and watching over this institution of learning, where the Word of God has been faithfully taught, defended, and proclaimed. And where we have failed Thee, O Lord, may Thou forgive us, cleanse us, and wash us of all our sins by the precious blood of our Saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ. And may Thou be pleased to hallow this hour of worship as we congregate to commence the 42nd graduation service of Thy servants. We pray, O Lord, that every item of this worship service, the singing of hymns, the reading and proclamation of thy holy word, the receiving of the diploma and the degrees, and the ministry of the choirs, may all these redound to thy glory, that the name of our Saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, may be highly exalted and magnified. We pray, O Lord, that thou will be gracious and merciful to bless every worshipper this evening, that we may experience thy holy presence throughout this worship service. For this we ask with thanksgiving and for thy glory in the most blessed and wonderful and holy name of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The reading of Holy Scriptures, taken from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 21. Gospel of John, chapter 21, verses 1 to 17. John 21, verses 1 to 17. 
After these things, Jesus showed himself again to the disciples at the Sea of Tiberias, and on this wise showed he himself. There were together Simon Peter and Thomas called Didymus, and Nathanael of Cana in Galilee, and the sons of Zebedee, and two other of his disciples. Simon Peter saith unto them, I go a fishing. They say unto him, We also go with thee. They went forth and entered into a ship immediately, and that night they caught nothing. But when the morning was now come, Jesus stood on the shore, but the disciples knew not what it was Jesus. Then Jesus saith unto them, Children, have ye any meat? They answered him, No. And he said unto them, Cast the net on the right side of the ship, and ye shall find. They cast therefore, and now they were not able to draw it for the multitude of fishes. Therefore that disciple whom Jesus loved saith unto Peter, It is the Lord. Now when Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he girt his fishes coat unto him, for he was naked, and did cast himself into the sea. And the other disciples came in a little ship, for they were not far from land, but as it were two hundred cubits, dragging the net with fishes. As soon as, then as they were come to land, they saw a fire of coals there, and fish laid thereon, and bread. Jesus saith unto them, Bring of the fish which ye have now caught. Simon Peter went up, and drew the net to land full of great fishes, and hundred and fifty and three. And for all there were so many, it was not the net broken. Jesus saith unto them, Come and dine. And none of the disciples durst ask him, Who art thou, knowing that it was the Lord? Jesus then cometh, and taketh bread, and giveth them, and fish likewise. This is now the third time that Jesus showed himself to his disciples, after that he was risen from the dead. So when they had dined, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my lambs. He saith to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my sheep. Now verse 17 as the last. He saith unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Jesus saith unto him, Feed my sheep. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. We truly thank the Lord for another successful semester and academic year of the Far Eastern Bible College. And tonight we rejoice with all 29 graduates. And I want to especially congratulate all our lay students who will be awarded their certificates afterwards. And there's no royal road to learning. And earning the FEBC certificate is not a walk in the park. And these students have done well because they have been diligent they have persevered, they have worked hard, and they will be awarded their certificates. 
The certificate of religious knowledge requires 20 credits. And the certificate of biblical studies, the advanced certificate, requires 40 credits. So it is quite an achievement to earn the FEBC certificate. And I'm sure they have gained much from what they have learned at FEBC and a deeper knowledge of the scriptures have helped them in their personal spiritual life and I'm sure would put them in good stead as they serve in their respective churches. So all those taking the basic theology for everyone, night classes or online courses, press on, persevere. And may the Lord bless you that one of these nights you will be here receiving your certificate as well. The Far Eastern Bible College is really blessed to have had the Reverend Dr. Timothy Toe as her founding principal. The Lord has already taken our founding principal home to glory on April the 20th, 2009. And he was 88 years old when the Lord called him home. And it is eight years since then. Although we no longer see him, he is not forgotten. Most, if not all of us in the faculty, were his students. And I'm sure all the lecturers and tutors are imparting his wisdom his doctrines to our students and are quoting him often in the classes. To remember him as founding pastor for the Reverend Dr. Timothy Toh was not only principal of the FEBC, he was the founding pastor of True Life, not just Life Bible Presbyterian Church, but also later on in his old age, True Life. Bible Presbyterian Church. And in commemoration of his labor of love in the past, uh, we have, the church has published a new book. And this new book is a hymn book. And it's not just a hymn book, it's also a story book, a history book. Reverend Toh had written many hymns during his pastoral ministry and during his teaching career at the Far Eastern Bible College. And he often told his students, quoting Martin Luther, music is next to theology. So he put the Bible words and Bible doctrines into song, into the tunes of familiar hymns. And we thank the Lord that his beloved wife, Mrs. Ivy Toll, compiled and collected all the hymns that he had written. And today we can put them together and, and have them printed. And so it's just hot off the press, this book entitled Heavenly Melodies. Hymns, Choruses and Verses of Timothy Toll. And this book was officially released last week at the annual congregational meeting of True Life Church. And tonight, uh, each graduate will get a copy. And it will be available if you like to have a copy. We have only limited copies. And if you like to have a copy, uh, you can get it from the FEBC book room, but we have brought some copies tonight. And if you want a copy for yourself, you can purchase it afterwards at the book table outside. And the uh, Calvary Pandan Church Choir also has a CD, How Can I Keep From Singing, right? this CD. And it's also available for sale afterwards at the book table, and it's uh, $5, all right? This book is $20, and all proceeds, of course, will go to the work of the college. 
not this one, right? This one goes to the church, but this book will go to the college. And this year is the 500th anniversary of the 16th century Protestant Reformation. And as Luther said, music is next to theology. So we should not only study theology, we should sing theology. So I hope our faculty can follow this good tradition. And many of the hymns written by Reverend To concern the 16th century Reformation and also the 20th century Reformation under Dr. Carl McIntyre. And we are in a 21st century Reformation movement. And the battle is yet for the Bible. The battle for the verbal plenary inspiration of the Bible has been fought and won last century. But in this new age and century, the battle is for the Bible, a Bible today. And the FEBC stands square, four square. Without apology, we believe and affirm, declare and defend that the Bible is verbally and plenarily preserved, forever infallible and inerrant. And so with this, it is now my duty to call upon all board members and faculty to take the Dean Bergen Oath and this oath was established, was instituted by our founding, our late founding principal way back in the 1970s. And every year we take this oath. We mean business for the Lord. And so, board and faculty, please stand. And, and faculty can stand there, all right? It's okay. Just stand where you are. And the oath is found behind your bulletin. Let us now raise our right hand to take the Dean Bergen Oath. Yes, every book, chapter, verse, word, syllable, and letter. Till heaven and earth pass, one jot, one tittle, shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. May God be praised. We are privileged tonight to have the Reverend Errol Stone, pastor of Faith Presbyterian Church in Perth, to be the Lord's messenger. And the Reverend Errol Stone is an alumnus of the FEBC. He earned his bachelor's degree in 1998 and his master's degree in 2008. We thank the Lord he can be with us here this evening. His message is loving God by shepherding his people. Reverend Errol Stone, welcome. Greetings to you all in the blessed name of our risen Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. And I praise God for the privilege of being here on this auspicious occasion, the 42nd graduation of the Far Eastern Bible College and uh, also being the 500th year uh, since the, the great Protestant Reformation. I want to thank our brother for the word that he had preached I learned three points, how to shepherd God's people lovingly, and number one is to preach the gospel, use the gospel key, open the gospel door, evangelize, and when the people are converted, well, you need to pastor, the pastor means you have to feed, to teach, to teach them the whole counsel of God. God's word and the truth. And then also not just that, the third thing is to
protect God's flock from spiritual harm and doctrinal danger. And, there's, and to do that, you must also be ready to lay down your life for the faith or for the sheep, just like the Reformation saints, just like our Reformed forefathers, how they laid down their life for the Word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. So if you learn these three points, it would be very good. Preach, pastor, protect. And now we have We have the award of certificates and the conferment of degrees. Ask the academic dean, the Reverend Dr. Quexwanyu, to assist in this in this segment. Principal. Board of Directors and Faculty of Forreston Bible College, friends and family members of the graduates and the brothers and sisters in Christ. It is my privilege to announce to you that we have 16 students who will be awarded the Certificate of Religious Knowledge and Biblical Studies, one awarded with a Diploma in Theology, four Bachelor of Religious Education, Four will be conferred the Bachelor of Theology, three Masters of Religious Education, and one Master of Divinity. Without further ado, awarded the Certificate of Religious Knowledge, Cornelius Koshi. <clears throat> Elizabeth Ong Chen. Gan Ken N. Samuel. <laughs> Gideon Pua Kim Huat. <laughs> Tai De En. Tang Shenhui Jolson. <laughs> Te Hui Min Phoebe. <laughs> Teng Yi Lian Liz. Awarded the Certificate of Biblical Studies, Chiu Yi Fong. <laughs> Li Yu Ji. <laughs> Lim Ah Sang. Lim Gim Leong Jason. <laughs> Rachel Leong and Lee. <laughs> Tan Chun King. Tay B. Hing. <laughs> Tan Wu Leong Benjamin. <laughs> A 
awarded the Diploma in Theology, Nui Chong Tech Leonard. <laughs> Conferred the Bachelor of Religious Education, Che Jong Che Soon Ok, <laughs> Lee Chun Jin, <laughs> Yang Chong Hui. Conferred the Bachelor of Theology, Chan Choi Ling. <laughs> Eric Luis Relota de Lina. <laughs> Go Yong Lee Samuel. Stephanie <laughs> conferred the Master of Religious Education, Elizabeth <laughs> Ku Ping Kyong. Sujith Samuel. <laughs> Conferred the Master of Divinity to Tianwei. We thank God for the ministry of the church choir. It is now my pleasure and privilege to invite the church choir to render to us a hymn of praise and thanksgiving and encouragement to the graduates.
Thank you very much, Calvary Pandan Church Choir. At this time, we shall worship the Lord with our tithes and offerings. Almighty God, our gracious Heavenly Father, Thou art God, and there is none else. Thou hast created all things. Thou art sovereign. And Lord God, even as we gather here tonight, this evening, our hearts rejoice because we know that the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. The God of my rock, in Him will I trust. O Lord our God, we give you thanks for how you have raised FEBC for a time such as this. We thank you for preserving it all these years, steadfast, unmovable. Fastened on the rock, even our Lord Jesus Christ and His holy, inspired, inerrant, infallible, and perfectly preserved Word. We thank you, Lord, for the board, for their unity, for their service. We thank you for the faculty, for the faithful teaching of your truth. We thank you, Lord, for the graduates for their perseverance, for their hard work. And we pray for them as they begin their journey to teach others also. We thank you for the students who have come from near and far to learn so that they can understand more of your truth. And we thank you for all of us gathered here tonight and in Singapore and all over around the world who love FEBC and has been enabled to be a part of this ministry. We thank you, Lord, for these gifts and offerings presented tonight. Pray that you bless each and every cheerful giver. And we pray, Lord, that these gifts may be used for FEBC to continue to do your work here in Singapore and around the world. We pray for FEBC that you ensure and enable it to continue to be holding forth the word of life, and holding fast the faithful word. Most of all, O Lord our God, we thank you for your greatest gift to us, the gift of our Lord and our Saviour, Jesus Christ, who came to die and to rise again for our sins, according to the Scriptures. May we therefore, Lord, all of us, live in grateful thanks, Live our lives in grateful thanks, bring glory and honor to our Redeemer, the Lord Jesus Christ. In his most holy and precious name we pray. Amen. Let us stand up again and let us sing our concluding hymn, Pass on the Torch of God. Let us remain standing as we pray for the graduates. Almighty God, our Father in heaven, we thank thee for thy mercy and the truth that you have given to us, which lasts for generations and generations. We thank thee, Father, for these graduates. They are thy servants whom thou hast called. And they have gone through their studies, preparing themselves to go into the field, thy vineyard. We pray, Father, for them. That wherever you place them, may thou strengthen them. When they feel weak, guide them when they do not know where to go, what to do. Be with them when they are discouraged and dismayed. 
protect them from false teachers and their teachings. And above all, Lord, be with them when they are lonely. And may you bless them with a double portion of the Holy Spirit. That wherever they go, they will honor the Lord Jesus Christ. Preach and teach the gospel, the word of God, the whole counsel of God. Everything will be done to the praise and glory of thy name. All this we pray. In Jesus Christ. And now, may the love and peace and grace and power of the Holy Spirit from God the Father the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with all of you until Jesus returns. Amen. Please be seated.